The first round of the GOP primary process, the Iowa caucus, is only a month away, and many polls are saying the contest is already paring down to a three-horse race. According to a recent CNN opinion research poll, Herman Cain and Mitt Romney are in a statistical tie, with Rick Perry following just behind. What is it that makes these men lead the political pack? Mitt Romney, arguably the most well-known of the top tier, is the former governor of Massachusetts and a contender for the 2008 Republican presidential primary. Romney, in a recent appearance in Council Bluffs, directly challenged the current administration. And you can't have a strong economy without strong families and strong values. If you don't want a president that's going to strengthen our economy and build the strongest military in the world, then don't vote for me. You've already got that president. This upcoming presidential election is the first to see a major influence from the Tea Party, a fundamental conservative movement aimed at more fiscal responsibility in government. Two leading candidates have their Tea Party support, Texas Governor Rick Perry and businessman Herman Cain. Cain, the former president of Godfather's Pizza, has come from political obscurity nationally to now lead many polls covering the GOP field. He touts his experience in revitalizing businesses as a key skill he'll bring to the White House. You see, politicians want to propose stuff that they think they can pass. Businessmen propose stuff that fixes the problem. Kane has made a name for himself with his 999 plan, an idea that would effectively rewrite our current tax system. The Tea Party's other leading candidate, Rick Perry, was somewhat late in joining the 2012 primary race, but made an immediate impact. Perry proudly stands by his record of job creation as the main reason he should be commander-in-chief. There are a lot of people on the stage with me that would rather talk about anything except what their record has been from the standpoint of creating jobs in a state. Nobody, nobody on that stage can talk about job creation the way I can. Political science professor Dr. Randall Atkins feels that although the race is tight, there's still a long way to go before the election. I'm not really sure um, what role the Tea Party's playing in 2012. We're still, right at, right at this moment, just over a year away from the election. So a lot of things could happen. And the winner of the GOP race goes into the general election with a major advantage. A recent Gallup generic ballot poll shows that an unnamed Republican candidate beats President Obama 46% to 38. With photographer Chris Potratz, I'm Josh Gear for the Omaha News.